Hello everybody and welcome to season 4 of Attack on Titan. Oh my god guys, the time has finally come. We are officially diving into season 4 and I, I can't believe we're actually here. I mean this is actually nuts, like the story begins like right now basically. Like, we had, like, a whole three seasons worth of, like, prologue leading up to this point to now where we are going to see so much shit go down. I, 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 can, I can feel it. I feel like, from what you guys have told me, the first three seasons were nothing. I'm about to have my mind so messed up from this season in the best way possible, of course. And I'm just so ready for it. I am so thrilled about this <laughs> I just I, I I can't wait any longer guys I'm not even gonna do any like preparation for this I'm just gonna dive right in just do it just, just dive right in let's do this thing you ready guys I'm ready here we go <laughs> oh my gosh this is happening guys I can't believe this is happening this is happening oh my god oh my god that's kind of annoying not gonna lie <gasps> Who is that? Falco, who is that? What? 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 Are we sure this is still Attack on Titan? Since when did we start using guns and stuff? I mean, like, it's all been all about, like, swords and flying around and stuff and whatnot. And being Titans, like, more than, like, a literally, like, an actual, like, war right now. And, like, is this, like... This must be some kind of like flashback or something, because why would why I I I don't I because I don't recognize him I don't know who Falco is. There's something about some guy named Colt. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the flow, um, and we're just gonna see what happens here. I'm sorry if I'm extremely confused. I have no idea what's going on, but a lot of you guys said that's probably what's gonna be like what's happening to me anyways. You you guys said that I should expect some very strong confusion. So. I'm just gonna roll the punches and see what happens. I don't know what's going on, so yeah. <laughs> oh, Eldian unit. ザンゴは彼以上掘り進めるのは無理です。無理。それは命令か。エルディア人が私に命令するのか。おいお前、マガタ隊長に何言ってんだ。ですか。このままでは。パルコ、酔っ払ってんの。頭を強く打ったんだね。俺たちが4年も戦争してるってこと覚えてるか？お前たち誰だ？てかあれ。さっきまで剣持って飛び回ってなかったか？ギューンってさ。巨
正解権を奪うのに4年も駆け上がった無能の声だめだぞそれもあれだけあった戦艦を半分ぐらい沈められてやったのかいキャだそのくせ俺ら陸には1枚に4歳ぐらい落としてもらわないと困りますだとくせやろお前やどうだファルコの頭ちぎるんじゃないよああごめんごめんそれで俺たち戦士候補生がなんでこんな前線に駆り出されてるんだ Warrior candidates, okay. <clears throat> Interesting. So, are we we must be amongst a war that broke out between the Marlins and the Eldians, is what it seems like. Because they're talking about, like, oh, we've been in this war for four years. And I thought that I remember in Dr. Yeager's memories, he was talking about. Or no, maybe it was his dad was talking about like the、uh, the history、uh, from the books or whatnot that the Marlin the Marlins came up with to、uh, um, spread lies and whatnot that there was this war that was fought. I don't know if it's the same war or if it's a different war. But this must be something that happened way before we even knew of Aaron and the rest of the crew. So I definitely want to pay attention to this because I'm sure there's a reason why they're showing me this. Um, so I definitely gonna see what this is all about for sure. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. This is interesting though. Hmm. Yeah. Also, I, I was, I know what I was gonna say. They're saying warrior candidates. That's what, um, Reiner kept saying that he was. He's like, I was a warrior. So, was he. <clears throat> Was he originally a Marlin? A Marlin, sorry. And then he. No, because he's. He had the power to become a Titan, so he's definitely an Elden. And he's one of the nine Titans. Or he has one of the nine Titans. So, why was he always saying he's a warrior? Was he maybe a. I'm asking all the, all the wrong questions way too early. This is literally episode one. What am I doing? I need, I just need to watch. I'm sorry. There, but there, there's something very interesting that he kept saying warrior. And it's interesting that the Marlins call themselves warriors. So I'm, I'm going to pay attention to that. I'm, I'm going to keep that in mind. So I'm going to keep that in mind. マガト隊長は最終試験をこの最前線に決めたんだよ次なる対局を見据えて、うん、パラディ島制圧作戦の主力となる鎧の巨人の継承者をね The successor? The other side of the sea? Wait a minute Episode 20 I have to say that last episode is season 3 It was called The Other Side of the Wall. Now we're saying The Other Side of the Sea. So now we're definitely in. So now it's like we've gone from Paradise Island to now where I think we're looking into a picture of the Marlins. But the other thing is. <clears throat> why, so we're talking about the successor of the Armored Titan. So, I didn't think that Reiner had died yet. So, was he just so badly damaged that he. Well, no, because maybe we're saying. <coughs> <coughs> maybe they had to pick a new one because it had been 17 years since Reiner became the Armored Titan. <coughs> maybe that's why. Or maybe. Either we're like really. I, this, is my, this is my thought process so far. We're either really far in the future, which would make the most sense if we're talking about the successor of the Armored Titan, or else if somebody was the Armored Titan before Reiner and we're in the past. But, I mean, my guess is maybe we're in the future and. Maybe they're. Doing this test as a way to see who is ready to become the next Armored Titan. 
and there's not actually a war. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, I, I think we're very much in the future, though. I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm thinking so far. But anyways, let's keep going. This isn't. I'm, I've paused so much. I'm so sorry. <笑>なんだ、ガビ。自分以外の比較対象が他にいねって口ぶりだな。だって他にいないでしょ。まあ、私たちとガビじゃね。今のところの成績じゃない。いいや。成績じゃないよ、ウド。いつも言ってるでし
I have no idea. Anyways, all I know is, okay, I finally got some clarification. Okay, so we're in the future. We are nine years in the future. And basically, I was right. The Colossal Titan, the Female Titan, and the Armor Titan, all of those guys together. Plus probably the Beast Titan also, and the uh, other weird Titan that, you know, um, I, I know you guys told me his name. Or the, the name that was given to him, basically, but I can't remember if it was official name or what it was. Um, the one that um, Beast Titan was writing on. Um, they must all be working for the Marlins. So when they say they still have two Titans, I'm trying to figure out who are they talking about. I guess they're saying they still have the Beast Titan and maybe the uh, <clears throat> the running Titan. Or maybe there's one we don't know yet. I don't know. And then, of course, the uh, Armor Titan, I guess, is one that they are, I guess, now going to pick who's going to be the next one because... Maybe Reiner died in the last nine years, something like that. Um, or he, he probably just lost his ability because of the 17-year thing that um, Aaron talked about in Season 3. So, yeah, that's my guess. Anyways, okay. Now, okay. I keep saying I'm not done. I'm, I'm just, I'm not sorry. I, I, I'm not sorry. I, I'm sorry. I keep saying I'm going to stop pausing. and I, I keep pausing. And uh, Yeah, okay. I, okay. Okay. Let me do this. Let me collect myself for a second. Let me get some water. And learn how to shut the fuck up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's do this thing. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm done. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try not to pause as much as I'm doing right now, but it's just a lot happening, and I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. Okay. All right. We're all on the same page. Okay. Okay.ゴータとメガタを失ったようにな。マーレの軍事力は低下したとみなされ、今日まで続く戦争の引き金となり。パラディ島作戦は後回しとなったんだ。我が祖国マーレを超大国たらしめるものは何だ。巨人の力です。そうだ。これ以上失えばこの国は維持できない。巨人の力は絶対である。そうでなくてはならんのだ。エルディア人部
私なら一人で走行列車を無力化できますお,おいカビお前らを鍛えるのに国がいくら費用をかけたと思ってる却下だ確かに私はファルコたちなんかと違って逸材ですし今後私のような優秀な戦士は二度と現れないでしょうしかもすごく可愛いしですが私が成功すれば800人のエルディア兵を失わずに済みます失敗すれば一人の有望な戦士候補生と7本の手榴弾を失いますやはり私に800人のエルディア兵以上の価値があるとなれば仕方ありませんが。One second. What happened? What's going on here, guys? Why why are you uh, messing me up here? Hmm? Alrighty, sorry about that, guys. My audio got a little messed up there for a little bit, so I、uh, got it all fixed, and now we're going to keep on going. So let's finish up this episode. I mean, we're, we're about probably halfway done or so, so let's keep going. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. 800の兵を捧げるということでした。わかった。行け。止めろ。神。必ずや。私が鎧を継ぐに値する戦士であることを証明してまいります。作戦成功のため、今だけ腕章を外すことをお許しください。いいだろう。誰か来る一人で女それも子供投稿しに来るようだいや待てエルディア人かもしれんだろうしかし様子がおかしい足かせを引きずっているぞ近い、うん、きっとエルディア人だ巨人化する前に撃てバカ言うやるならお前のライフルだろう、はあ、くそ<笑>何だ<笑>おお That works really well. Wow. Yoriato! Gariado! He's okay! This guy is. Okay. So called a shadow chin moko cockney. Coriori, Coca Saxon will cash his room. Kuregremo Saxon Dori. Jeeku got Hoko to Nari. ライナーが盾となるのだ。おお。So we still do have Zeke and Reiner. Reiner looks totally fine. Okay, so Zeke did end up actually saving him. And basically being able to bring him back to human form. Totally fine. And now he's like totally fine. This is supposed to be Reiner, though? This looks nothing like Reiner. 
they did a complete, I mean, I guess we're talking him being nine years old than the last time we saw him, but still, I mean, they did a massive change in the artwork. I just, I, I realized that. I just didn't really, I just never really pointed it out until I, I think seeing Reiner actually made me realize how different it is. Because a lot of the characters, like, they look pretty similar. It's like maybe like they had a little bit more of like a mature look maybe, I guess, with the art for some reason. But like this looks nothing like Reiner. Like I kind of see it in his eyes still and his hair, obviously. But like, I mean, I guess it's, it must have, they might have, maybe they changed the artwork to kind of match like that of like, Oh, we're nine years in the future, so everybody's gonna look older. So maybe we'll go with more mature art style. Maybe I don't know. That's what they were thinking. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'd like it or not, though. I really liked that. I I've seen that same art style for the first three seasons, and now we have a different one. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I definitely don't not. It's not. Like I, it's not like I don't like it, but it's just really kind of throwing me right now. I, I mean, I was adjust to it, but still, just just kind of threw me off. Not gonna lie. Um. Okay, so why are we talking about? successors to both Zeke and Reiner as the Beast and Armor Titan when they're still totally fine. I don't know. That's weird. Um, anyways. Well, let's keep going. Oh. Okay. What does it say? Marley, a military dictatorship. Utilizing seven of the nine Titans as warriors, Marley conquers enemy nations with their overwhelming strength. Seven. I, well, I guess they have seven, because technically Aaron only has two of the set, or sorry, the nine. But then, see, the the thing is, the Armin is now the arm is now a colossal titan. Unless, I mean, we're nine years in the future. Maybe they got it back from Armin. I don't know. I mean, if so, though, Bertold is not alive anymore. So I guess somebody knew it have to be the colossal titan, the Marley uh, Marleyans. But I mean, I mean, technically. At one point, they did have probably seven of the, of the nine. So if we're saying Beast Titan, Armor Titan, Colossal Titan, Female Titan, this Gilliard guy, I don't know what his Titan's going to be called, and um, then there's that one Titan that's like, um, I can't remember what you guys called him, that um, Beast uh, Titan rides on. And there's still one more, though. I don't know, am I forgetting anybody? I don't know, because there's, there's one more Titan, I thought. So maybe we just didn't, haven't seen that one yet, because then that made the two that Aaron has. Interesting. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, that's cool. I love seeing it from that viewpoint. Jeez. My lord. Oh. He's here. Jeez, this guy's insane. Oh, there it is. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, we're loading. Why are we loading? I can't. I swear. I, I can't record this episode today. What is happening? This is insane. What the heck? Now the, now the uh, Wi-Fi is messing up. I'm so sorry, guys. This episode is a mess. What the heck? Let's try this again. <laughs> what is happening? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what is happening? Why? Uh, okay. Okay, guys. Again, I fixed it. I don't know. I rebooted, or I should say, reload the screen, and now it's working again. So I'm so sorry, guys. This is just not the type of episode I want for you guys, especially starting off season four. 
So this makes me really freaking mad. So I'm so sorry. Hopefully we can just get through the rest of this damn episode and I hope you guys still enjoy it. I'm I'm just I'm so sorry guys. This is freaking stupid. It made me so damn mad. <laughs> okay. Oops. Let's try this again. Okay. なんで周りに乗れが打たれるんだ。何してんの、ワルコ。いや、わかるだろう。彼はもう戦闘能力のないホリョだ。うど、しけたよくれ。はい。ガッキーめ。できなんかほっとけよ。それがあんたの売りど
Gillet's here, or Gilliard, Galliard. So beyond curious to find out who the heck Galliard is or how you say his name. Because his Titan is very interesting. It looks like. Like very much almost like a regular Titan. But it crawls like Emir's Titan does. And it looks like his face is very much like. It's like he has like a bone face. Or something like that, which is interesting. I'm very curious to find out who the Gilliard Titan is, or whatever. I, I don't. Does the Gilliard does is Gilliard like actually the guy's name who's inside this Titan, and they just haven't given him or his Titan a name yet, or am I gonna learn that later? If that's something that is gonna be spoilers, then don't tell me. I'll, if I learn if I'm gonna learn his name later, like the Titan name later, then don't tell me. Um. Yeah, I'm very, very curious to find out more about this Titan because this is absolutely insane. Like, he is a, a menace to the Eldians. Oh my lord. The frick. Yes. <laughs> oh, Zeke's turn. Okay, so what's his part of the plan? What's that for? Oh, the ship's in the ocean. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. Did Wire just sacrifice himself?
連合艦隊の壊滅を受け中東連合はマーレとの講和条約を締結4年に及んだ戦争はマーレの勝利で終結しただが世界には巨人の力が全てを支配する時代が終わりつつあることを知られマーレは一刻も早く始祖の巨人を手に入れる必要に迫られたそんな Why is she saying, oh no? When did we have that one? Oh, 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 As to whoever that guy is, being very important probably in the storyline here sooner than later. Okay, so.、Um, interesting. Okay, so they said. Let me see if I can. See if my brain will cooperate here.、So、they were saying, okay, so obviously the Marleans won the war. Because, my god, when you have the Armor Titan and the Beast Titan. That alone is already like just absolutely nuts. <laughs>、um, so, yeah, that that was not helpful. If they didn't have both of them, then、um, I don't know. Still, well, what's the thing? That, no, this is the thing. They have they had the Beast Titan, they had the、uh, Armor Titan, and they have this Gilliard guy, whoever the heck this guy is, who's going around like being a crazy freaking running maniac, just tearing shit up or whatever. But okay, so th they won the war. But then they were saying that the world had to start adjusting to a. What was it? It was like. Um. Oh, here we go. They were saying, but as the world learned. That the era of Titan domination was coming to an end. Marley was pressed to obtain the Founding Titan as quickly as possible. So, the Founding Titan, as in the Titan that's within Eren right now. But see, why would they. Why would they be saying that? Is it because they killed off so many Eldians that. You know, they're like. I guess that would be what it would be, because if they're killing off like, that many Eldians, or if, they, if they're killing off the Eldians, I should say, that means they're killing off the ones who can transform into a Titan, basically. So,、um, that, must be what, that must be what they're saying. But it's weird, though, because they, they have these people on their, on their squad that were like, oh, Eldians, make your. Make the Marley government proud, so it's like. That's still what's so confusing to me, and I don't understand that. But I, I don't know. Regardless, this is interesting. So, we're basically. The biggest thing is I think I need to take away from this going forward as we start the season is we're nine years in the future. So, that means whenever we see Aaron and the rest of the squad, they're all nine years older than we saw them last. So, that means that the entire the Levi squad, basically, minus Levi. Is all like 24 probably now years old or so because if Aaron was 15 years old, we can only assume that everybody else is probably around the same age. And so, if he was 15 when we saw him in,、um, at the end of season three, nine years、um, later, 15 plus nine should be. um Or am I, am I crazy? Wait, no, that makes him, I believe. I, I was so bad at math. Okay, right, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, yeah, 24. Okay, I, I, I was, Jesus. Anyway, so he's like 24, 25, we'll say. So he's definitely a full ass grown adult now. And so、um, he'll definitely be a lot more mature. And I see the really the biggest thing about doing this is that's like, what happened in the nine years since we saw him in season three? That's what I want to know. And what formulated this war to happen, you know? And like, why was this war going down? And when this war is going down, where, the, where is the Levi squad and the rest of everybody within the wall? 
I guess we're saying this is on the other side of the sea. So maybe this was this was happening on the other side, maybe. Wow, other stuff with maybe in the next episode we're gonna see what's happening during this war on the other side of the wall where obviously the Levi Squad is and all the rest of the Eldians that are in the Paradise Island, if you will, or on Paradise Island, we'll say. Anyways, a lot to try to uh, grasp here already diving into Season 4. Still a lot of things that have me confused, but I'm sure as I keep watching, it's just going to be a lot more stuff explained as time goes by and whatnot, and I just need to be patient and whatnot, even though I'm not. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, guys, okay, so, um, yeah, let me go and wrap up this episode, because I want to dive into the next episode and see what's going to happen next. I miss, I miss my boy Aaron here, and I want to see him. So hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you all for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, guys. Bye.